हे गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम बैक वंस अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो एंड फॉर दिस वीडियो आई विल बी ट्राइंग आउट सम न्यू आर्ट सप्लाइज दैट ओहो हो सेंट मी व्हिच आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड फॉर आई गॉट देयर 48 मिड टोन मार्कर्स व्हिच आर सो क्यूट एंड एस्थेटिकली प्लीजिंग दे कम इन द स्टैंडर्ड ब्लैक पैक व्हिच इज इजी टू कैरी एंड ट्रैवल विद and then there's the the 48 markers of course there's also a few other things inside this pack such as the swatch sheets which are very useful a thin pad which is used to protect the next paper from any transfer of markers in case they seep through the paper and there's also an information booklet inside next i received some of their fine liners as well and their tip thickness ranges from 1 mm to 0.05 mm which is very very thin and there's also one brush pen inside it so i'm very excited to try these out as well i also got an ohuhu mixed media pad which has a really nice texture to sketch on plus it's so thick it has 62 pages i hope i'm able to finish this sketchbook someday even though all my sketchbooks are almost never completed this sketchbook this sketchbook also comes with that thin pad which can be used to protect the next paper from markers seeping through it I also received their newly launched acrylic markers. There is 30 markers in this, but I will try these out in a different video. And for now, I will be focusing mainly on the Ohuhu 48 Midtone alcohol markers. Let's get started. I'm starting with some simple swatches on the provided swatch sheet. I think this swatch sheet just made the process of understanding all the colors much easier. With alcohol markers, their actual swatches are usually very different from the outer packaging, and so it is important to swatch them out before starting to work with them. They have dual tip, so one side is a, is the broad chisel tip, and the other side is basically our usual brush tip. and i think ohu markers come in different tips as well such as wider tips for bigger works finer tips and there's also a few different types of tips to choose from so you can work as per your style the one i'm using is from the honolulu series which is basically a brush tip and a broad tip and these were fairly cheaper from the other brands that make similar kind of alcohol markers the quality of these also feels very nice not that i'm that well acquainted with alcohol markers but from what i could tell while using these they feel really good and easy to work with and as a matter of fact this is actually the first time i'm trying out alcohol markers properly and actually giving a thought to how i want to work with them This also comes with one colorless marker which is a blender basically so you can use that to blend the colors on the paper. With this 48 mid tone set, I think it is easier to paint the darker skin tones rather than the lighter ones just because it does not has much light colors to choose from. and so i chose a reference picture according to the colors provided in the set the colors go on the paper very well and easily there wasn't really much of a struggle to get a vibrant layer with these and yeah i started with the darker values 
The browns in this set are very useful especially for the darker skin tones. I'm trying to carefully leave out the lighter values and highlights so I can work on them later with different colors or just leave the highlights white. I realized while doing this sketch with markers that you really need different colors for different values as it is not really possible to lighten a color once it is placed on the paper and hence why such big sets of alcohol markers are great options if you like to work in many different skin tones. Although you can build up the colors by layering them on top of each other and you can also use the blender to lift up the color from the paper but you might lose that one stroke application but looks really good with these you can also try mixing two colors on the paper by layering them on top of each other to get different and more interesting shades came to painting the hair I firstly used a sappy dirty green for the base layer and built it up with grays for darker areas I kept building the same gray color as much as possible as this particular set does not contain of a black considering that it is a mid-tone set it's not even expected to have a black in it
next area of the hair, I used the brush pen from their fine liner set which actually deemed very useful for this particular sketch as I used it on other areas as well that needed that very dark value. said even though I'm not fully qualified to review it it was a very pleasant and seamless process for me there were not many hurdles in between and I enjoyed working with them I kind of do wish I had a bigger set just so I could experiment with more skin tones and more colors but that's just me being nitpicky um, I think they are they, they layer really well Plus, I really like the blending marker, it can be used to fix small mistakes and also blend out the colors. And I'm looking forward to experimenting with these more and explore painting with alcohol markers. The mixed media pad was also so nice to work with, I loved its texture and none of that marker actually bled through to the next paper which is great and sketching on the sketchbook was also a delight the, the pencil just glided on it i also want to work with different mediums on this to see how well it handles water i was only able to use the brush pen from the fine liner set but it was also a pleasure and yeah I look forward to experimenting with these art supplies much more. In the end, I just went over the areas that needed some highlights with my white wash. that's it for this video if you made it this far i hope you enjoyed the process and thank you for sticking around and i hope to see you next time bye bye